welcome all in the class of water resource engineering today we are going to discuss the development of irrigation in india i am mr s sugule assistant professor civil engineering department so history of irrigation in india in vedas ancient indian writers and ancient indian scriptures have reference of wells canals tanks and dams in south the perennial irrigation has begun with construction of grand anicut by the cholas that is king karikalan as early as in 1st century to provide the irrigation from the kaveri river here you can see the photograph of this grand anicut the central and southern india is studded with uh, numerous irrigation tanks which have been traced back to many centuries before the beginning of the christian era the indus civilization flourished on the banks of the rivers and the water was harnessed uh, for sustenance of life basically as we know uh, our development of civilization is developed or initialized from the banks of the rivers or banks of the or the sea shores rather we say sea shores so water is the prime source to develop any kind of civilization or any kind of uh, human habitat so the it is a one of the primary need that's why to uh, keep the distance minimum from the water so, uh, resource uh, the civilizations or the colonies have been established so everywhere uh, this pattern in any kind of development in the human history you can see so same as before and there as the human made the progress so to store that water or to harness that water they uh, they have gone for the wells tanks etc so the irrigation technology during the indus valley civilization were in form of small and minor works like digging wells so here you can see the water is is taking out the water from the well by using this bull pools now the irrigation during the medieval india that is 6th to 16th century here in this era the rapid advances took place in the construction of canals then water was blocked by constructing bunds across the streams uh from earliest the water has been blocked by the so many things we have the story of the dhamya rushi and aruni in that story that aruni itself act as a bund in the uh, in the farm uh, through the night so that that uh, farm will will not get flooded and uh, because of he uses himself as a bund so farm get good water and that uh, dhamya rushi give blessings to him so we have these kind of stories in this regards then uh, giyasuddin tughlaq is credited to be a first ruler who encouraged the digging canals first tughlaq is considered to be a greatest canal builder irrigation is said to be one of the major reasons for the growth of expansion of vijayanagar empire in southern india in the 15th century as agriculture income was a, the pillar of the economy irrigation systems were paid special attention during this period here you can see the bund formation then uh, babar in his memoirs called babar nama give vivid description of prevalent modes of irrigation practices in india at that time the gaber bands presently in sindh pakistan captured and stored annual runoff from the surrounding mountains and river sindhu that is indus to be made available to tracks under civilization so here you can see these kind of bands which are there in pakistan still so basically that hadappa and mohenjo daro 
those cultures were developed in pakistan uh, right now they are in pakistan so in all these civilization this kind of bonds has been developed to retain the water now the irrigation in british india so the renovation improvement and extension of exi existing work has been took place in this in this era so they ruled us for around uh, 150 years that is around uh, it is called as a from uh, after the defeat of Mara marathas uh, i think in the 18th century up to 1947 up to independence they ruled us and they have developed so many things so many buildings they have developed so many roads railways they have developed still they are in good use we have the examples of uh, the bridges like uh, irwin bridge that still in working though uh, its uh, service period has been uh, expired but still it is in use and it is in good condition so uh, likewise the british has been developed so they have made development in uh, canal systems also or irrigation also so the new project like upper ganga canal the upper bari doab canal and the krishna and godavari delta systems they have developed the major canal works like sarhind sarhind then uh, lower ganga the agra and the mutha canals and the periyar dams and canals they have developed so here you can see these photographs this is from godavari and these are from the periyar this is upper ganga so these systems and dams they have developed and built so during this period india witnessed few major famines of her entire life so better irrigation becomes mandatory significant pro protective works constructed during the period were the betwa canal in madhya pradesh neera left bank canal in maharashtra and the gokak canal in karnataka as well as the rushikulya canal in odisha has been developed so the irrigation development and after independence so to achieve the set targets of economy development economic development the responsibility of irrigation development was given to the union ministry of water resource it took initiatives from time to time on water resource development and for the technical assistance to the states on irrigation multi purpose projects ground water exploration and exploitation drainage flood control water logging sea erosion problems then dam safety hydraulic structures for navigation and hydro power also oversees the regulation and development of interstate rivers then the command area development and water management that is cadwm to provide the central assistance for development of infrastructure to facilitate use of sprinkler or drip irrigation systems as an alternative to construction of field channels the assistance is limited to the construction of a settling st uh, stilling tank then pump house laying of conveyance pipes up to farmers field then accelerated irrigation benefits program that is aibp it is conceived in the year of 1996 by the government of india in order to provide financial assistance to state to complete the various ongoing projects in the country so that in it is envisaged irrigation potential of project could be created and thereby extend irrigation in more areas then a uh, few future possibilities of irrigation are that is uh, technological option that is drip sprinkler micro irrigation methods needs to be adopted where as possible the revival of diverse and community that is irrigation community based irrigation system basically in our uh, india uh, everyone used to uh, make his own system by digging well or uh, nowadays by bore well but uh, in some villages uh, four or five farmers get to uh, get together and then develop the irrigation system for their areas so likewise these kind of systems to be adopted then interbasin transfer of water that is interlinking of river that has been uh, 
in too much uh, ongoing topic uh, because some rivers have flooded and in other area uh, there will mer- uh, there will be a drought so these kind to avoid these kind of situations we have uh, these kind interlinking of uh, river projects special measures needed to be revitalize the tank irrigation gap between potential created and utilized need to be reduced that is completion of canal network still so many places so many canal still are undergoing so completion of all those networks then use of sewage water for irrigation actually still in india so many uh, cities don't have the sewage treatment system uh, the itselkarnji municipal system has the sewage treatment system and that uh, sewage water is used treated sewage water is used for the irrigation then the drainage improvements the scope of improving crop fields options for equitable and efficient water distribution need to be involved choosing appropriate cropping pattern for sustainable development so this is a few data that is irrigation types capacity and actual irrigated area in uh, million hectares so we have total crop area about uh, 159.6 million hectares so ground water crop area is 39.43 million hectares canal irrigation is 22.48 and total area is 58.13 so here how that source wise development of irrigated area is shown over here up to 2003 then uh, these are some ancient methods of uh, irrigation that is this is the persian wheel this is the pulley system this is bullock drawn well irrigation like we have seen earlier and this is the chain pump so these are the older methods of irrigation so for the presentation or today's lecture i have the reference from slide share then i got data from wikipedia and vrmain.nic.in and i referred the book of irrigation engineering and hydraulic structures by santosh kumar garg so this is all for today's lecture thank you